Hi, I'm John Grady. I'm an engineer and an instructor here in the math department at Madison Area Technical College. I have in front of me a selection of calipers and micrometers and two parts that we're going to use as examples for measurements. Looking here, we have a micrometer, which is English with a vernier. We have a micrometer, which is metric with no vernier. And we have a pair of calipers that have both English scales and metric scales with verniers on both. You can put a vernier on any measurement device. It's not tied specifically to being English or metric, micrometer or caliper. It can go anywhere that you want to make a measurement. So we're going to start demonstrating how to use a few of these measurement tools. We're going to use the micrometer first to measure the outer diameter of a cylinder. You use a micrometer when you need to make really high precision measurements. It's a threaded scale, so it allows you to make really small adjustments very easily. So we're going to imagine that we have a very, very tight tolerance on this cylinder. So we rotate the thimble to open it up on the barrel, and then we close it back down until it touches. The thing that you have to watch out with all of these measurements is that you're actually closed on the device that you're measuring and that you're not at an angle like this or you're not measuring off of the center down in the bottom like this. Both of which seem like they would never happen but it's actually very easy to get a measurement that's inaccurate because of that. The last thing you need to worry about is that you're always applying the same amount of pressure as you're squeezing this. because Aluminum is fairly rigid, but if you're measuring a plastic part, you'll actually deform the part as you're trying to measure it, changing the measurement itself. So all of these parts will have, all of these measurement tools, will have a, a spring-loaded element. In this case, we've got this piece out here. When I twist this, it will always apply the same amount of uh, squeezing force to every part. So even if I'm inaccurate, I'll always be inaccurate by the same amount, and I can calibrate that out. The other thing that you'll often see is a lock, which allows me to make my measurement and then lock it, and then I can take this out and read this without everything getting out of alignment. So I've put the micrometer and the part that we're testing down on the table so we can see what we're doing. The first thing that you do is you measure the barrel. This is the barrel. It looks like we have just passed 20. This is a metric micrometer, so we have just passed 20 millimeters. We're going to add that measurement to the measurement on the thimble. This is the thimble. You measure the thimble by looking at which number lines up with this horizontal line on the barrel. It looks to me like it lines up with 15. So we're going to add 20 millimeters to 0 0.15 millimeters, and we'll have a final outer diameter measurement of 20.15 millimeters. Okay, now we're going to repeat the measurement using an English micrometer with a vernier scale. So I've already um, tightened it down onto the object. Our job is to read the scale on the barrel. So we're looking for the number that we have just passed. So you can see we're past 0 0.7 inches and we're also past 0.725 and just a little past 0.75. So our barrel reading is 0 0.75. The next thing we look at is the thimble reading. Again, we're looking for what we have just passed. So we use the horizontal line here, and it lines up a little bit past the 4. So we have 0 0.75 plus 0 0.04, and the last step is to add in the vernier. So we're going to rotate this around. We look for which of these lines actually matches up with a line on the thimble. So if you look here, you can see that the line from 1, that totally doesn't match up. It's halfway between the 8 and the 9. But as you look at the different lines on the vernier, eventually you'll find one that lines up. It looks like maybe the 5 is the best match. So we have 0 .005 that we add on to our measurement. So our barrel measurement was 0 0.75 inches, and our thimble measurement was 0 0.04 inches, and our vernier added the 0 0.005. So the total measurement is the sum of all three of those, which is 
0 0.795 inches. Now we're going to demonstrate measuring a more complicated part using a uh, caliper that's both English and metric with a vernier scale on both. This is actually a reject clamp from a medical device that holds the computer onto the IV pole. We're going to measure the outer distance from the device to the outside of the clamp and the inside distance where the uh, thumb screw goes and holds the thing onto the pole. First let's do the outer measurement. With the calipers, again, you open it up, bring the part in, and here we don't have a thumb screw. We just have a pressure uh, nub here. Sometimes you'll have a little wheel with a spring on it. But again, you want to bring it in, apply some pressure, and then lock it. Okay, now we're ready to read the scale. Again, we're looking on the main scale to see what number we have just passed. So if we look along here, we have just passed 2 inches past 2.3 inches, and we're actually just past 2.375. We haven't quite made it up to 2.4. So we have 2.375 for our main reading. And then we look at which line on the vernier scale lines up the closest. Looking over here, and actually there's probably um, going to be some differences in opinion as to which line exactly matches, and that's fine. In this case, I would say probably 19 maybe 18, let's say 19 is the one that lines up the most closely. So we have 2.375 on the main scale and we have 0 0.019 on the vernier scale. So our total measurement is going to be 2.394 inches. The last thing to demonstrate would be using the internal measurement side of the calipers. In this case we'll go from the inside and expand outward until we are just contacting the device and then again we'll lock it in place and put it down on the table so we can measure. So looking at the main scale it looks like we're past one inch, we're past 1.7 inches, we're actually past uh, 1.775 but we haven't made it up to 1.8 yet. And then looking at the vernier, which of these lines up best? I would say the 10 lines up most closely. So we have a main scale reading of 1.775 inches. We have a vernier reading of 0 0.10 inches. And so our total measurement is 1.785 inches. So we've shown how to use vernier scales. We've shown how to use metric and English. We've shown how to use calipers and micrometers. The truth is that you would use them in different situations depending on whether you wanted a precision measurement or a coarse measurement. Um, typically you would use micrometers for a more precise measurement because it has the, um, the thumb screw which allows you to make smaller adjustments. And the truth is you can also put a vernier on anything. Um, I've seen vernier scales on uh, mounts for telescopes because you need to make very small adjustments to where it's pointed. Also on microscopes. on um, anything where you're making a small adjustment, so on a scanning electron microscope stage, they actually show up all over the place.